I've never told her you can't do something. She could do everything. Things that when she was born I didn't think she could do, she was able to do by the time she was five. But when she did mention the strings, I did think that how could we make this happen with one hand? Good job. All right. Good for you. So what I would do is I would hold the violin and I would push down the notes and then my strings teacher would pluck the strings. He spent, I think, hours, if not months, working on a prosthetic for her with his own hands. And this is not something that is his expertise, but he did it with amazing love and dedication. And then um, he told me that he had spoken to a team here at George Mason, um, and would I be interested in continuing and anything for her? I said, yes, let's do it. So uh, we are a team of five at George Mason University with the bioengineering department, and this is our capstone senior design project. She's, she's so inspirational. And I, when I, I mean, when I saw that we could have the opportunity to help her, I really wanted to do it. All of us wanted to do it. That's better. That's better. Mm -hmm. How about from the bottom? The bottom is good. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. We wanted to make it as simple as possible. So we came up with all of these easy to use attachment and easy to use adjustments to actually give her a basic control of the ball. Oh my gosh, isn't that better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said that the most important thing for her was the color. <laughs> so from the beginning, every time we would go to her house, we would be like, what do you think? Should we? Yes, I really like it, but do I get to pick the color? Do I get to pick the color? I'm a very blessed mom that so many people love my daughter. And I think this has shown her how much people who are complete strangers to her are willing to help her and how lucky she is. It was a very good um, journey for us as students to help someone in our community um, to just live better, enjoy her life just like a normal kid.